tell Angela Bassett, and I'm an Angela Bassett fan, okay? Trust and believe, all right? Um, mm-hmm. What's this nigga's name? Um, Henry Louis Gates, Henry. that asshole. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what I said, Henry <laughs> Louis fucking Gates. Asshole Gates. Language. <laughs> but this dude is pissing me off when it comes to my niggas. I done watched him basically poo poo uh, Louis Gossett Jr., Tina Turner, Don Cheadle, Angela Bassett, you know, and you making these people feel good about what you're doing. Some of them you you making them feel like there's something wrong with them. Ain't nothing wrong with my niggas and their ancestral stories. You got me messed up. All right. Right. This is the deal. I looked at this thing. Um, I don't know how I came across it, but uh, something about he was, you know, they do these reruns. He was doing Angela Bassett. And I saw her results. It had some small number for Southeast Asian, had a small number for Native American. I believe it had something like 20% European and a a higher number for Sub-Saharan African. Well, first of all, if you know what Sub-Saharan Africa is, a lot of the damn test groups that they consider sample groups that they compare you to aren't even in Sub-Saharan Africa. That's one. Mm -hmm. If you know the truth about the Atlantic slave trade and how it wasn't so much them bringing slaves from Africa to here, but taking so-called slaves or captured, kidnapped persons from here to over there, that is Mm -hmm. what they do. It's like, okay, we know we took niggas from the Americas and dropped them over here, dropped them over here. You know, they took niggas and a bunch of niggas and dropped them in Liberia. So they going back to the niggas that are from here that are in Africa now and testing them. And said, oh, yeah, we traced mm. you back to Africa. No, nigga, you trace me to some nigga from here that's in Africa now. Right. Don't even play with me. Right. You, can, you can fool everybody else with the shit. And a mm. lot of them aren't even in what you call sub-Saharan Africa. So the whole of Africa is suddenly sub-Saharan. All they're saying is, well, it ain't North Africa and West Africa. Everything that ain't North Africa and West Africa, we consider sub-Saharan. Well, Liberia ain't sub-Saharan, but they have that as sub-Saharan Africa. Okay, so understand that Mm -hmm. about the DNA. Now, they have in their sample group under the Human Genome Project that all these uh, DNA testers, including 23andMe, are utilizing one nigga from Liberia. And I am telling Mm -hmm. you, they can take that one nigga from Liberia that was taken out of the Americas and dropped in Africa and compare all your asses to that nigga and find the DNA tie. And say, oh, yeah, yeah, uh uh-huh, all you niggas are sub-Saharan Africa. It's the game they're playing. All right, now, follow this. Very Be cognizantly aware of what I'm trying to tell you here uh, right now about this goddamn this whole game that they're playing with this DNA. If you have a cup of coffee, and I'm going back to Tina Turner, uh, uh, Angela Bassett, if you have a cup of coffee and then you add cream to it and then you add sugar to it, no matter how much cream and sugar you put in there, is it a cup of coffee with additives or is it a cup of cream and sugar? Now hear a me well. A cup of coffee with additives. Mm-hmm. Hello. Now, But Angela Bassett, she had this small number of Southeast Asian DNA and this small number of Native American DNA. So they had to be looking at speculative numbers for her to have something like 20% European. Come on now, go play. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. And also, comprehend this, for those of you that have done this 23andMe DNA test, have you noticed how when you look at your speculative numbers, they have this extremely high number for sub-Saharan African, a Mm middle-of-the-road number for European, and a relatively small number for your Native American and Southeast Asian. Well, according to their scholars, so-called white scholars, the people tested um, as a sample group that they compare everybody else to are what they consider the closest thing you're going to get to pure blood Native Americans and Southeast Asians, which they say are the first peoples of America. They say these are representative of the first time is first in line. I'm going to say it again. First in time is first in line. 
on their website at 23andMe, they say your Native American numbers are going to be small because it goes at least five generations or more back in time. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to insult anybody. I'm saying know how to read. And for those that don't read as well as me, I know how to read. I'm going to clarify it for you so you can tell these people talking that shit to you to go screw themselves. All right. Right. They said the numbers are smaller because it's older in time, at least five generations back. And that's also documented. The short markers in your DNA results that are small numbers, is your oldest, most ancient DNA. That's what you were first. So Mm -hmm. in the case of Angela Bassett, whatever that small number for Southeast Asian Native American was, that's what she was first. First. That is her Mm -hmm. oldest, most ancient DNA. That is her cup of coffee. The 20% European came along later. That was cream added into her DNA, DNA genetic bloodline at a later date. And the higher number for sub-Saharan African, that is the last thing that came over and got in her bloodline that was added into her damn DNA. So she was Native American Southeast Southeast Asian first, which is first people of America. That's why the number is so small. The next largest Mm -hmm. number is the European. That's the cream that got poured into her Native American coffee. The largest number is the sub-Saharan African because the so-called African strain was the sugar that is the last thing that got put into her Native American cup of goddamn coffee. So, no, when your shit says I'm 86% sub-Saharan African, that doesn't mean all you niggas are African because y'all are more African than anything. No, that means the African is the last thing that got in my bloodline. Now, why right, is it when you right. start off as speculative, you got these high-ass numbers, and I'm talking to those that have done this 23andMe test so you know what I'm talking about. Why is it this mm-hmm. sub-Saharan number is so high in the speculative? European is middle of the road. That's recessive genetics, recessive DNA. Right, okay? But right. for whatever reason, when you go to standard, the numbers go almost in half. The numbers shrink. Mm -hmm. By the time you get down to conservative, you look up and have almost no sub-Saharan African, uh, damn near no Native, so-called Native American Southeast Asian, but that European number stays strong, don't change hardly at all. What kind of bullshit y'all playing? Mm -hmm. Y'all must take me for a goddamn zip-ass fool. For real? That number should Mm -hmm. shrink like all these other goddamn numbers are shrinking. Don't play with me. That's you motherfuckers trying to stay in people's shit. It's okay. I don't have a problem with it. So... Let's say you have people running around here today, they so damn proud of this DNA shit because they're reading the shit backwards. For example, mm-hmm. my homegirl has a, my homegirl, T, I'm talking about you, her son has a coworker, mm-hmm. he's so-called Filipino. He did his DNA test. He's like, yeah, my shit came back 50% Native American. Yeah, I'm Native American. I'm going to go get my money. And, That's you know, you got people that are, like, saying they're saying the so-called Mexicans and the Filipinos and so are coming up with all this 50% higher Native American ancestry. Well, when you go south of, south of the border in so-called South America, <clears throat> Brazil, Colombia, Maya, which is now called Mexico, the real Americans are niggas. The real Americans were niggas. Niggas, niggas, my mm-hmm. niggas, any G-U-S. All right, so. At the end of the day, people come from overseas, they go down into Brazil and the Colombia and Mexico, and they hook up with these dark-skinned people. And you see a lot of these mm-hmm. bleached-up-looking people that say they're Mexican, but you see photos of the weddings and you see uh, these elderly sisters running around. This is the grandmama, great-grandmama, mm-hmm. abuela, who their people mm-hmm. are telling them they're African. Well, Abuela is a real goddamn American. Hello. So right. if you have somebody that came over from Spain and hooked up with Abuela, the sister in South America, and spit out a mixed breed child who happens to be more bleached up in color and comes up talking about, oh, yeah, I'm 50% Native American, that shows the next question you want to ask these people is, really, how much sub-Saharan African did you have? 
and get that number. And they say, how right. much European did you have? When that European number is the smallest number, they're thinking, oh, I don't have that much European. I'm mostly uh, Native American because I'm, you know, only 2% European and uh, or, or 5% European and I'm 50% Native American. No, that little number that's European, that's what the fuck you were first. Hello, you were European first, and then any sub-Saharan got African got in your bloodline if you got it. And that big so-called Native American number, that just means that you recently hooked up with a real goddamn hot talk talk. Because the largest number is the last shit in your bloodline. That is the last thing added to the cup of coffee. The cup of coffee is the smallest number on your DNA chart. Whatever is the mm-hmm. smallest number, smallest marker, that's what you were first. Whatever is the largest number, that's the last thing in. Got it? Got it, got it. Got it. 